Hey guys, Coach Wood here, Strength and Conditioning Coach at Bangtao Muay Thai and MMA. We're here for Workout Wednesday again. It's going to be an upper body workout designed to build strength for MMA athletes. All right, guys. So this is going to uh, take around about 40 minutes. Obviously, make sure you warm up prior to starting this exercise routine. Today, we're going to need a barbell, selection of bands, a TRX, and also uh, a place to do a landmine rotation. Okay, so we're going to start the workout now and we're going to go through section one. All right, guys, so we're going to go through the first section now. Whenever you perform, like obviously a compound move, like a, a press or a squat, whatever, we have to warm into that movement first. We can't just go straight into lifting very heavy. So make sure you warm up. You may just start with a the bar, then add a few uh, little weights onto it, and then you warm up into your actual set. Now, we should never miss a rep, so we're looking for four sets of eight today. So eight should be achievable, but not easy to achieve. So you should have at least two, three reps in the tank. So that means that you hit eight, and you might be able to get nine, 10, 11, and that would be your max, okay? So again, eight reps is achievable, but it's not easy. Okay, we're gonna lie underneath the bar. First of all, the bar set up. You wanna be eye level with the bar, okay? If I'm too far this way and I unrack it, when I press, I'm gonna hit the hooks, okay? If I'm too far this way, it's gonna be very hard to come across. It's a lot on your shoulders and then to push back, okay? So I like to go eye level. Now grip, obviously we can go wide, we can go uh, close. Again, I like to go some length away from the smooth of the bar. Okay, that means that both my hands are equal. I'm gonna squeeze, lift myself up, squeeze my shoulder blades back and down, and create a nice tight unit. We can have our feet up, feet down, however you want. From here, I'm gonna unrack the bar. Now, one other key point is you wanna try and bend the bar. Whoa. So I'm trying to bend the bar here. Now you can see my elbows turn. Okay, if they didn't and I pressed, my arms come out here. If I bend the bar and I bring it down, they come at the 45 degree angle. I've got tension through my shoulders, through my back, and I press. So I control it down, my triceps touch the floor, press through. When I come down, I control it. When I press up, I press forcefully. Okay, once I've done my desired rep range, I then obviously re-rack the bar. So guys, with this, obviously I can't tell you how much weight you can and can't lift. All I'd give you advice for doing is Make sure you start just the bar to grease the groove of the movement, and then obviously start adding little increments of weight until you get to your working weight. So your working weight, remember, is eight rep, achievable, but not easy. Okay, so the second exercise, guys, or the second and third exercise, you're gonna add these to your first two sets of your warm-up only. Like I said, you've got four sets of eight working sets on the, on the floor press, but you need to warm up first. So on your first two warm-up sets, you're gonna add these exercises too. So the first one's gonna be a band dislocate. So we're gonna take hold of a band. We're gonna come up to in line with the middle of our head. We're gonna split the band slightly. And from here, I'm gonna take it all the way around, touch my glutes, all the way back round, release the tension. Create tension, up, all the way through, and relax. Create tension, all the way through, relax. Okay, this is a nice shoulder opener um, to help with your press. So on the band dislocates, guys, uh, we're gonna go obviously the two sets, 10 reps. Okay, nice control, good rep. We're gonna take a band, we're gonna wrap round, we're gonna thread through, and create this loop. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, we wanna be, around about eye level with the band. From here, I'm gonna take hold with two hands. I'm gonna take a, and create a little bit of tension. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna pull that band in to either in line with my nose or forehead. Elbows are high, and we're through. We release and let my scapula come all the way forward. Okay, so arms come all the way forward, and then we're back through. Nice controlled face pull. All right, guys, so the banded face pull, we wanna do, again, two sets, and it's gonna be 20 reps. Again, nice controlled good reps. So after we've done that guys, we're going to move on to the next, which will include the TRX. So obviously if you keep consistent with this type of work, you're obviously going to see the transfer from the weight room into your sport, into the MMA. So for instance, the isometric hold, that's good for grip strength. So if you're wrestling with somebody and you're going against somebody's body or holding somebody, if you can uh, basically do this in the weight room, it will transfer across into the MMA room. All right guys, so we're gonna go through the first exercise now. So they're all gonna roll into one. 
So the idea is you do not release the handles until you finish all three exercises, okay? So the first one is going to be an isometric hold. The second one is going to be a mid row. And then the third exercise is going to be a high row with the isometric hold. You're going to set your feet and you're going to take tension. From here, I'm going to pull up, pull my shoulders down, engage my lats, stay nice and tight and nice and straight in my whole body. I'm just going to hold here for 30 seconds. Once I've done my 30 seconds, I'm going to go into a mid row. From here, I release my hands and I come out of 45. Once I've done 10 reps, I'm then going to go into a high row. So my elbows come up nice and high and driving back. Again, full extension on the arms, nice and tight and straight body. Now, to make this exercise easier or harder, it's all about the angle, okay? So if I'm more straight up here, it's a lot easier than if I walk my feet to that anchor point and decrease that angle, or increase that angle, should I say. So here is a lot harder. If I find that it's too hard, I walk my feet away. Okay, this is a little bit easier. All right, guys, so going into section three, it's nice and simple. It's just 50 push-ups in as little sets as possible, okay? So every rep has to be a good rep. That's number one. It has to be full range of motion. And the idea is, is okay, you might say your, your max number of push-ups is 10 right now. That's no problem. Do your 10, shake it out. Rest maybe 10, 20 seconds and go straight back into the next. Maybe you might only get eight the next set. That's okay. But continue on through until you reach 50 reps. Then the idea is the more you do this workout, the more you do push-ups, you will see the improvement because the first set you might get 15 reps the next time. Then you might get 10, whatever it might be, okay? And the idea is, is you want to do 50 reps unbroken. If you can do 50 reps easy, okay, we'll take it to 100. All right? You've got to make everything a challenge. That's the, that's the idea of it, okay? So if you know you can bust out 50, no problem. Okay, take it to 100, even 150. Or you can make it weighted if you want to, okay? But that's more advanced. All right, guys, so with the push-ups, I'm sure we've all done these before. Probably nothing new to anybody, but we're going to run through the correct technique. So you want to view the push-up as a moving plank. So whenever we do a plank, a plank, a plank is called a plank because it's like a plank of wood, right? It's solid throughout. So the push-up is exactly the same, okay? So I take my hands a little bit wider than shoulder width. Now, I do the same thing. I, I imagine there's a piece of paper here and I'm trying to scrunch the paper this way and tear it this way, okay? Down the middle, scrunch and tear. So by doing this, again, it creates active shoulders and it keeps my hands in the correct position. So we go onto our toes, feet hip width apart. From here, I'm gonna come all the way down all the way up. That is a full push-up. Okay. This is not a full push-up. This is not a full push-up. Okay. If you need to drop to your knees, no problem. Just keep your hips forward. Chest comes down the same. And we're through. Moving plank. Everything else is tight throughout. The aim of this, 50 reps, like I said, in as few sets as possible. Take a note of it, then next time you do it, see if you can beat the amount of uh, times you, it takes you or the amount of reps you do for the first couple of sets. Okay, so the last one we're gonna move on to is landmine rotations. All right guys, going into our final exercise, okay, it's gonna be a landmine rotation. There are a couple of different ways to set this up. If you have a landmine attachment, obviously awesome, it's real easy. If you don't, and this is what I'm gonna show you, you can have two plates on the floor and your bar will slot in between those two plates, okay? Now, the landmine rotation, again, there are a few different ways to do this. I'm gonna show you my way. I really like this variation because it adds power to your rotation and also a very wide range. The rotation is obviously great for MMA, fight sport athletes, kickboxing, boxing, because it is mimicking that same motion when you're throwing a hook, when you're trying to throw somebody, when you're trying to wrestle against somebody. So it's a very, very good exercise. As you can see, I've got two big plates, place them on the floor side by side, and my bar is gonna slot in between those plates. Now, if you don't have room for this, you can also use the corner of a weight rig 
or whatever it might be, just obviously be aware, don't damage the wall of the gym. All right, so we're going to take hold of the bar. When we do this, guys, don't be too close to the weight plate, okay? Otherwise, you're not going to get good rotation. It's going to prevent you from getting a, a nice movement. So come to the end of the bar. Now, we're going to start with slight bent arms, okay? And from here, we're going to go in this half moon position to one hip. As you can see, I've rotated my feet. Now, my hips face this direction. My feet face this direction. Now, from here, I'm going to use power through my core, my hips, and I'm going to rotate it around in a big arc all the way over again. Now my hips face this direction. Then from here, I rotate through again. So guys, this is obviously uh, a very good exercise to combine upper and lower body. So useful in fight sports, in any sport really, where there's rotational force needed to be generated. Um, it's going to hit pretty much everywhere. Obliques, obviously, the core, the, all the core, it's going to get worked and you're going to develop power and rotational strength from doing this. So what we're aiming for on this one is three sets of 20 reps in total. So that'll be 10 per side. So single counts, one, two, three, until you hit 20. Rest it up and you've got three sets. With the weight guys, again, with any of this work, the weight is completely up to you guys. You're going to have to test out your strength um, and just pick what's applicable for you. Remember, Whatever rep range it is, it's achievable. You never miss a rep and you want to make it challenging for yourselves. All right, guys, that's it for this week's Workout Wednesday. Remember, all these workouts are designed to help the MMA athlete or combat sport athlete um, with their strength work. Stay tuned for more. There's also going to be uh, cardiovascular work to be done, body weight only workouts and many more things. So. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and we'll see you later.